Is it legal to track someone down who steals your property? Should you actually go try to locate your stolen stuff? Or what if someone accuses you of stealing and the police show up at your door? I'm attorney Andrew Flushi, and this channel is about defending your rights. Subscribe for a new video every Tuesday. Whistling Diesel has a problem. Someone keeps stealing his stuff. He installs several cameras and gets some great footage of the crime in action. Photos and video make for great evidence, but once the thief has actually driven away with your stuff, how can you figure out where he went and more importantly, where your stuff is? Got some of these bad boys. These are Apple AirTags now. I have 16 of them. That's all you can put on one Apple ID. We're gonna stick these in the most hidden spots. And then hopefully the guy who stole my other stuff takes one of these and it leads us right to where he's taken everything. Is this even legal? Yes, but we need to make two things very clear. First, Whistle and Diesel did not place air tags on the suspected thief's truck or inside the suspected thief's property. That could be a major violation of the law and it could give rise to some kind of claim like stalking or some kind of invasion of privacy action. Whistle and Diesel took air tags, placed his own air tags inside his own property, and then someone came onto Whistle and Diesel's property and unlawfully took his stuff with the air tags inside. There's a major difference here. Second, if you're not familiar, AirTags are simply a small Bluetooth device that have no recording capabilities or microphone on board. All they are is a little Bluetooth device that can ping a nearby iPhone. But if you were to use a device that could record its surroundings without the people around knowing, like one of these reach far trackers, you could be in a major world of hurt. These devices actually have microphones on board. You can actually use a phone to call the ReachFar tracker and you can uh, listen in or record what's going on around it. This is not the kind of thing you could use to track your property in a situation like Whistle and Diesel. Using this kind of tracker to track stolen property could violate anti-wiretrapping statutes, including federal law. No bueno. Legally, using a device like an Apple AirTag or a tile tracker should not cause any problems in the United States. However, every country has different privacy laws and standards and your own state could even have some kind of different law that you need to check. So always check the law of your state if you're doing anything like this. However, Whistle and Diesel also mentions there's a potential huge flaw in his plan. AirTags need another iPhone to ping off of, so the only way it's gonna work, like you can't track the exact location 100% of the time. So his own iPhone is what's gonna incriminate him. If you need to bump up your tracking to real-time data using cell phone towers, I highly recommend one of these Whistle dog trackers. This also has no recording abilities, and so it wouldn't present any legal issues if you put it on your own belongings. The Whistle provides location information for where your property currently is, but it does so using cell towers if the Whistle device itself is taken outside of your home Wi-Fi network. This means that you're not relying upon the potential thief to have a particular phone like an iPhone or an Android. The Whistle is of course designed to track Fido if he gets out of your yard, and I'm sure they would work great for that too. We have cats at home, so I use my Whistle to track my robot lawnmower. Yes, I'm a nerd. Fortunately for Whistle and Diesel, the suspected thief did have an iPhone nearby. Yo, this is our guy. Where? The Forerunner's at his house. <laughs> the Forerunner's at his house right now in the truck. Go there, we're gonna go there right now. So what should you do if you use some kind of tracker and you have a potential ping for where your stolen property may be? I think Whistle and Diesel nails it in these circumstances. It's this house here. Look, tell me if you see a Forerunner and a, and a maroon F-250. So I find it funny, he's got a gate. Maybe he doesn't want someone stealing his stuff. I just want to confirm, how do you know this person has your stuff? I have pictures of him driving in and then coming out 10 minutes later with a bunch of my stuff in the back of his car. And we just found out um, where he lives. So you've gone over to the residence? I'm just here at the road, yes. All right, I've got deputies on the way, okay? Thank you very much. He does not confront the suspected thief. He simply drives by on a public roadway in a relatively safe area to try to see if he can identify one of the vehicles that he saw on his surveillance footage. Whistle and Diesel and his friends stay on that public roadway and then they call the police. I am not saying that it's always a wise idea to try to go where you believe your stolen property has been taken. 
There are plenty of scenarios we could all think of where maybe it's in a shady part of town. In some scenarios, it could be prudent to go by a quick drive by on public property to see if you could identify a vehicle or something like that to give the police additional information for their job. You definitely have to use your own best judgment and prudence to determine if this is a smart idea or not. But the key thing is you should not try to confront the thief themselves, ever. Your goal should be to try to gather up enough information for the police so you can contact them and give them the case with a nice little bow on it and say, here's the crime, here's the suspect, I just need you to go retrieve the property and potentially arrest the guy. If you simply go down to the police station and file a stolen property report and have no information on where your property has gone or may be, it's frankly unlikely you're gonna get your property back. What about the suspected thief? How does he respond when the police show up at his front gate? Yeah, he, he, they just asked him, they he still- He just denied it. Yeah, he did. Straight up denying it. Yeah, his heart's racing. He talks to the police. He denies everything and questions the actual photographic evidence that they show him. At this point, he knows that he has stolen property and he knows the police are onto his trail. Questioning the evidence by yourself that the police are presenting to you and lying to them is only going to get you tangled up in your own web of deceit. What if someone accused you of stealing their property and the police showed up at your front gate asking you questions? What should our suspected thief have done instead? As soon as the police brought up stolen property, he should have immediately said, I have nothing to say without a lawyer and simply walk back to his house. Or better yet, just walk back to the house. You don't have to talk to the police. Once he got to the house, he should have immediately called the best local criminal defense lawyer that he could find. But in this case, he wouldn't have had much time to talk to that lawyer since the police returned very shortly. They're searching it, dude. Yeah. They got a warrant already. Within 20 minutes. That's insane. Thanks to Whistling Diesel's surveillance photos and tracking information, the police are able to recover his stolen property. To learn exactly what you should do if the police knock on your front door, check out my next video. I'll see you over there. And remember, don't talk to the police.